we'd heard there was more to discover in Florence, Alabama. We asked Barbara Broach, the city's museum director, to give us a tour of a real architectural gem, a Frank Lloyd Wright house. He designed this for Mildred and Stanley Rosenbaum in 1939 and 40. They were given $7,500 by Stanley's father, and he told them to build the house that they wanted. He gave them two acres of land across the street from his home. Stanley wanted a house designed by the world's most famous architect, Frank Lloyd Wright. So he summoned his courage and contacted Wright. Much to Stanley's surprise, he agreed to design the family's dream house. They lived here until 1999. The city then acquired it. The home had deteriorated, and Barbara was recruited to spearhead the city's effort to restore it. But the contractors she hired wanted to knock it down. They said they could build a new one for a lot less money. And I said, I know, but you know, this is a Frank Lloyd Wright, and I was just going through with them. And they were kind of kicking things and going along, you know, like, this lady's crazy. But the thing that was so interesting is to watch them as they began to see the genius of the architect. Stanley Rosenbaum's father, who lived across the street from his son, didn't think Wright was a genius. He thought the house's unconventional flat roof was a bad idea. And so he said to Stanley, he said, I'll tell you what, Stanley, go ahead and put a roof on it and I'll give you some more money. Stanley ignored his dad and the family settled into its unique home. Wright wanted to create affordable homes that could grow with the family. This was the house for a young married couple. He would sell you the plans and you could build your own house. The home simply screwed together and used very simple construction. As your family grew, you could add on and still keep its design and style. Long before feng shui became popular, Wright tried to create a harmonious feeling in his home. He wanted to help you to have peace and tranquility. Uh, inside, uh, he does things like make all of the lines uh, go together and everything inside. There's no contradiction going on in your head like, I'd like to straighten that angle out or I'd like to do this or that. Everything is very tranquil. One way he accomplished this was putting the back of the house toward the street. This shut out the traffic noise but let light in through small windows at the top of the wall. He then put the private side toward the back with expansive glass to let the world in. The seamless window panes give the illusion that there is no glass and no barrier to nature. By today's standards, the rooms were small, but its innovative and peaceful style still seems modern. It's a home that continues to inspire.